Good morning, Sunday morning. Welcome to the first episode of Good Morning, Sunday Morning. The Democrats will hate this show. And it's going to focus on their terrible and tyrannical focus of destroying our constitutional republic. While the election is halted in the court, I have to go over Joe Biden's credit score plan and how it's going to influence the left as it's an idea they've been wanting for a long time. Whether who is president, the Democrats and the independent socialists will push these ideas upon us. It's a credit score based on skin color. Of course, this was revealed not in the middle of the election, but while people were already voting a day before the election, but now we are seeing Democrats pushing that all Latinos for Trump are not Latino and are instead white privileged. The Latinos are now seen as did the Asians, as well, of course, the always damned by the left, those normal white so-called privileged people, along with the mixed people of America. We are all the disenfranchised. We are the damned and the so-called deplorable chumps, the ugly and the forsaken. They don't look at us, but these liberal elites judge us. With it shown, they are against even Latinos these days. What will the Biden plan and the Democrat Bernie and progressive approved plan of skin color based credit score mean for us all? Well, Biden says if you don't vote for him as a black American, then you are not black. The question is, is this going to just be off skin color as they refuse to acknowledge the race and the color of the two but instead only see people off of their ideology this call for a public credit reporting agency founded in the ideology of the intersectionality push of equity a complete and communist enact that will destroy the economy along with it bring us to an end of our constitutional republic from the Consumer Data Industry Association, they have gone over this agency that Joe Biden, in the Democrats, in the party, what they want to push for and enact upon us all. Quote, as the candidate for the Democratic primary has dwindled to the former Vice President Joe Biden, we were awaiting to see which stance his campaign would take on the consumer reporting industry. In our former blog post, The Data Debate, presidential candidates on consumer data, we outlined the stances of the candidates on the credit reporting industry, but Biden was one of the only candidates to not have a plan for that. In a recent 110-page publication titled The Biden Center's Unity Task Force Recommendation, he now has a plan for the industry. The document comes on the heels of the Democratic Convention to be held in Milwaukee, Wisconsin this August 17th and is the first attempt to unify the party and prove to the Bernie coalition that Biden has not forgotten them. The Biden lays out the policies where the moderate Joe Biden will meet with the Democrat Socialist Bernie Sanders and other task force members like Congr Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, author of the Green New Deal. They uniformly agree that the existing wealth gap, the rightfully so, is so ever expanding in our country and propose policies to lift this economic anchor that is dragging the working poor down. What is clearly missing in this document is the absence of Medicare for All and the Green New Deal. The two most important legislative proposals to Bernie and Ocasio-Cortez's followers. Biden is willing to agree to some leftist proposals but on his moderate terms. Now the name for this plan of the agency of the racist ideology of the left ruining the country and forcing us into this tyrannical racist future where the racists call everyone else a racist and is truly, this plan is called the Biden Sanders Unity Task Force Recommendation. Now this recommendation will be made into law 
whether it passes or not is not you know completely up to all of us but we do need to know who will vote for this we have to contest and pay major attention to their dreams and their plans this is going to cause real and if implicated will cause the total destruction of martin luther king jr's dreams quote the theme of the unity document is the country's income inequality gap no doubt spurred by the recent protests after the killing of George Floyd and others like Breonna Taylor, but also the persisting and complicated issue of our country faces. The Unity Task Force members foresee the closing of the income inequality gap by creating a new agency within the CFPB that would provide an alternative to the three credit boroughs. The Public Credit Reporting Agency is an attempt to provide a non-discriminatory credit reporting alternative to the private agencies. The policy announcement states, it would require all federal lending programs to use the Public Credit Reporting Agency to evaluate the borrower's credit worthiness, including for home lending and student loans, two of the most enabling factors when in acquiring wealth in our country today. Of course, under the FCRA, the three credit boroughs cannot see the race of customers, nor sex, nor sexual orientation. How they will determine the race of the individuals is yet to be seen, but perhaps a rewriting of the FCRA or other governing laws would be a means to do so. Now, so while they state that the agency will be made to provide a non-discriminatory credit reporting alternative to the private agencies, these agencies are not seeing the race of anyone. And they truly are just going to use the wordings of their equity plans to do nothing but discriminatory action. They will discriminate against all of those they condemn as privileged. Anyone they condemn as such will be left with terrible credit and will be condemned to no loans and never again will anyone be treated the same, but we will forever be treated differently based on our skin color and I argue even our ideology. We have spoken, oh quote, we have spoken to the privacy legislative proposals in the past that create privacy bills of rights, preempt states that, oh, preempt to states or not, some build upon the CPB or the FTC and others create new agencies. They all mirror the European model of the GDPR and California CCPA. By giving the green light to build a new agency at the CFPB, we can expect a bill of these nature to be hundreds of pages long. Another partisan third rail bill. Joe Biden is the political fight of his lifetime and will face enormous pressures inheriting a downturned economy amongst this pandemic if inaugurated next year. But creating a new agency will simply be an uphill battle his administration may not have the bandwidth to take on. Biden has shown us time and time again that he is influenced by moderate and institutional compromise as he sees this as a path forward to winning swing states and appealing to the disenfranchised American worker. The fact that there is a unity document alone speaks to his compromising nature. What will an elected Biden presidency look like in the first 100 days? I would not count on entering back into the Paris Climate Agreement, rolling back on Trump's executive orders, amending a new tax law and renewed focus on health care. The time it would take to reinstate a new F CFPB director, garner the political will to create a new agency and corral political opponents to its proposal is an extremely heavy lift. Who is the Treasury Secretary and what vision would they have? And amend the laws that are currently governing our industry. By no means does this determine that we would turn our backs on this proposal, but presses us to continue to dialogue with the Biden campaign and congressional offices that have written similar bills in this space as I forementioned.
I have listed some of the arguments against the state-run agency published by PERC below. I will also point out the other factors that we are constantly pushing, like creating new volatility with data suppression, alternative data, <coughs> trended data, dynamic scoring models, and reminding lawmakers that the CARES Act, current status on customers, files is working for Americans facing terrible economic hardship. Now, I brought up this Customer Data Industry Association article as it's basically the only website talking about this issue. But also, they do make a great argument as well, just showing the flaws and showing the problems of the idea of a public credit reporting agency. While the idea of a public credit reporting agency is a bad idea itself, the biggest problem is mixing intersectionality, critical race theory, and political correct ideologies into the terrible mix of this bullcrap. We have to hold their feet to the fire. We have to keep Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream as a reality in this nation. We can't have anyone being treated dif differently off their skin color. Even for the left's ideas of social justice, which will only create a new social injustice in this nation. All this will do is cause more of a split in the country and will cause a big problem that is what they will say they are trying to deter, but they are never doing as they say they are doing, but are doing the opposite of what they say they are doing. I would like to go ahead and thank you so much for watching the first episode of Good Morning, Sunday Morning. You will see this coming out weekly, and don't forget to also watch Liberty Bites Back. The full podcasts for Liberty Bites Back comes out every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, while segments on every different topics are clipped and released Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. I hope you do have a wonderful day. Peace.